stillness taken to the extreme becomes motion. Beauty taken to the extreme creates sorrow. Resonance of heaven, earth and human. My master once told me that I shouldn't be afraid. He said, look at all the stars and the Milky Way. There are so many stars, countless stars, right? The number of stars in the heavens equals the number of people on earth. If you look at stars closely on a clear night, you'll see layer upon layer of stars, endless stars. There are many high-definition telescopes nowadays. The pictures taken show countless layers of stars. Humanity and heaven resonate with one another. Heaven, earth and humanity are interconnected. In 1976, a huge meteor shower occurred in China's Jilin province. A meteor that didn't burn up hit the ground. It was bigger than a manhole cover. A meteor that big burns up as it plunges with great speed through the atmosphere to Earth, creating a large crater where it lands like a small atomic bomb. Luckily it didn't land near any houses and no one was killed. Nobody was killed in that meteor shower. But what happened next? Check the history books. In 1976 in China, who died? First, Prime Minister Zhou Enlai. Then, Head of State Zhu De. Finally, Chairman Mao Zedong. After this, a natural disaster, an earthquake. When meteors fall from the heavens, the earth rumbles. The Great 1976 Tangshan Earthquake. Many events occurred. When the first emperor of ancient China, Qin Shi Huang, died, it was recorded that Mars, astrologically speaking, was located at Qin. Mars could be observed from Earth. Astrologically, it was a bad omen. Mars, as seen from Earth, had an unusual brightness and color. This was the astrological phenomenon at that specific time and orientation. At that time, astrologers employed by every government, including that of Europe, felt that this was harmful to the country. That year, the emperor died. Then, 200 years ago, there was the great emperor Qianlong, a romantic who was well versed in both literature and military affairs. His reign was one of the more prosperous eras in the last dynasty. He took his empress to visit Shandong province. They paid their respects at the Confucius temple. As Confucius as the forefather of Chinese scholars, then they planned to visit Mount Tai. His empress was sick at that time. The minister of astrology, who was very good at interpreting the heavens, warned him that there was an adverse astrological sign, which was a guest star had invaded the six stars. What does it mean that a new star, not there before, appeared among the six stars? This sign was thought to be bad for the emperor's household. Something did happen during that time. The empress's child died. So Qianlong thought that was what the sign warned of. But the minister said that the sign occurred after the death. Not long after, in March, the empress died. The death of an empress was a significant event at that time. Later, on the night before Emperor Qianlong died, 
A huge star with a long tail, called a comet, fell from the heavens. It caused a great noise and the earth shook. As it fell from the heavens and the force of the impact was huge, Emperor Qianlong died the next day. You see, the resonance between heaven and earth, when you see a sunset so beautiful, so spectacular. That everyone wants to take a picture. Be very careful because a catastrophe is on the way. We are talking about the natural order of things. Not any religion or superstition. Those who study astronomy or geology may understand. If you don't understand natural order but make claims regarding it, you are not looking at things scientifically. When the moon is beautiful and has an extremely beautiful halo, there will be an earthquake or tsunami. You can look for one video in which astronomers discussed the phenomenon I just mentioned to the disbelief of reporters. The day before the recording, satellite imagery showed a huge cyclone. Satellite surveillance detected a typhoon that was yet to reach the South China Sea. The reporters were told to keep watch. However, the day before the cyclone was spotted, the sea had been unusually calm. And the clouds, reflecting the sunlight, enchantingly beautiful. The next day, everything was the polar opposite. The sea was in turmoil, as though thousands of dragons were churning it. Waves hitting the rocks splashed dozens of meters high. The day before had been extremely beautiful and tranquil. Stillness taken to the extreme becomes motion. Beauty taken to the extreme creates sorrow. These two polar opposite natural phenomena occurred only hours apart. Go watch that video. It is called the unheard of story at Puto Mountain, the mystery of the path of the strange typhoon. This video was made recently. Modern science tries to understand natural phenomena. There are many patterns in nature that most people haven't observed. If on August 15th of the lunar calendar clouds obstruct the moon, it'll snow on the following lunar January 15th. It will be cloudy and rainy if you're in the south and snow if you're in the north. There is a poem like proverb. Cloud covered moon on the 15th of August begets lanterns in the snowfall on the 15th of January. You can find proverbs like this on Chinese calendars. Where do these sayings come from? The Chinese almanac, it is not superstition, past government officials and emperors used almanacs to remind citizens to pay attention to these natural phenomena. So if the August full moon is obscured by clouds, you should wear more on the 15th of January, wear a rain jacket and heavy boots because it is going to rain or snow, you may wonder how they are connected as their months apart. My master had a stone turtle. It was from the Yellow River and was a gift. I don't know how many years he had it. The stone was round like a turtle shell, but it wasn't from a real turtle. Just like a real turtle, there was a grid pattern on it. It was smooth and shiny from being touched. 
My master sometimes would examine it after morning practice, counting the squares. If he found that there was moisture on the fourth square in the northeast quadrant, he would say it would rain in four days in the northeast. If it was going to rain where we were, there would be moisture in the center. It was always accurate. Later on I moved to Guangzhou, where I would examine my pet turtle. Many people kept turtles in their bathrooms as pets. They are easy to care for as they don't need the sun. When I shared this phenomena with turtle owners, they said their grandmothers had told them the same thing. If they wanted to know tomorrow's weather, they would just check the turtle's shell. If they saw there was moisture, or even dew on the shell, some of the old people could tell if it had rain that day or the next. Strange, right? Humanity, heaven, earth and oceans are interconnected. You may wonder how an important leader's death is connected to the stars. Now this comes back to what my master told me. My child, don't be scared. You are not alone. See how many stars there are in the sky. You have that many beings keeping you company. How can you be lonely? I remember asking later, Master, am I a human or a star in the sky? He said, this is interesting. You might have come from the sky. Many people transform into humans from other beings. You may think it is miraculous, but it's not miraculous at all. When you see through this law, you will realize that human life is cyclical. Look at our ladder like DNA. The bottom rung represents earth and the top one, heaven, it cycles through, there is nothing special about it. The ocean water appears heavy, but the sun heats it and evaporates it into the sky. After enough accumulates, it falls back down again, right? Rain becomes drinking water, and the rest is back to the ocean. The sun heats it, rising into the sky again. Life is like that too. Heaven, earth and humans are interconnected. So when we have a kind heart and kind thoughts, and our hearts slowly start to radiate illumination, just like the medicine Buddha's vows, when the compassion in my heart radiates illumination, it will illuminate my body, the world and all beings. So all other beings will become illuminated and translucent, and they too will radiate light to illuminate the world. What an auspicious and wonderful visualization. When you visualize this, your heart is connected to the heavens. Deities used to want to teach you a lesson, but when you're connected to the divine, you are connected with deities who love you. Wow, even this guy is enlightened and knows to love all beings. Many caring deities will come immediately to protect you. Since you might become a future Buddha, that's huge. It'd be a fundamental transformation, such as that from a slave to a general or a mundane person to a deity. The process is like this. So when you really radiate compassion from your heart, you will shake and move heaven and earth. In the play, Snow in Midsummer, it snowed in June. It is normal. Whether you are so badly wronged or you are so compassionate that it hits an extreme, it can shake the heavens. When Buddha first turned the wheel of Dharma and spread the Dharma, the earth shook. The profound human heaven resonance is not fully understood with our current wisdom. So we should maintain a compassionate heart every day as we face and deal with everything.